And welcome back. The numbers are eye-opening. The American Cancer Society estimates 1,800 Oklahomans will be diagnosed with colon cancer this year. But now scientists say that they may have found a way to slow or even stop the growth of those cancer cells by using marijuana. New tonight, a closer look at the research and what those scientists are saying their next step will be. This was all done in a lab. In those test tubes are synthetic derivatives of medical marijuana and colon cancer cells. A team of researchers at the Penn State College of Medicine have spent the last year and a half looking deeper into how cannabinoids affect colon cancer cell growth. They may be effective in colon cancer. It was surprising to us that the two main ingredients in marijuana itself, CBD and THC, were not particularly effective. While the study found THC and CBD to not be effective, Marijuana is a complex drug. Researchers tested 370 different synthetic compounds, each having the possibility to do something different. Ten of them stop cell growth of seven colorectal cancer cells. That is now what these researchers will take an even closer look at. The next steps would be trying to take some of those 10 compounds that we identified. Um, one in particular was dramatically more potent than the others and trying to see if we can modify that in a way to make it a treatment for colorectal cancer. The researchers want to better understand if, in fact, medical marijuana can be a cure-all drug. We need to figure out what that is, as opposed to these apocryphal stories we have that suggest that I have an aunt or a loved one who smoked marijuana and it cured a disease. We want to know what it is that's doing it and is it truly effective. Researchers say they will continue to tweak molecules in those synthetic compounds to make them more effective.